Hey, good morning. Welcome back. We're in 1 Samuel. And what we're going to do with chapter 3 now, that's where we are. We're just going to take it in chunks each morning. And we're going to actually break this whole event into three or so of these devotionals. So let's start with chapter 3, verses 1 through 5, okay? And then we'll talk about it. Now the boy Samuel ministered to the Lord before Eli, and the word of the Lord was rare in those days. There was no widespread revelation. And it came to pass at that time, while Eli was lying down in his place, and when his eyes had begun to grow so dim that he could not see, and before the lamp of God went out in the tabernacle of the Lord, where the ark of God was, and while Samuel was lying down, that the Lord called Samuel. And he answered, Here I am. So he ran to Eli and said, Here I am, for you called me. And he said, I did not call. Lie down again. And he went and lay down. So here is this young boy, Samuel. He's serving. He's doing all the duties he needs to do there related to the sanctuary. And he is laying down. He's near Eli. He's, Eli kept him close. That's a good thing because certainly didn't want the influence of Hophni and Phinehas on this, this uh, precious young man. But anyway, here's the thing. Some different things we learn right here that kind of set us up for the rest of what happens this evening. It says here, the word of the Lord was rare in those days. There are different times in the period that we live is one of them where it seems like prophetic revelation is, is very rare, I guess to say the least. And yet there are also times in history where there are, are several prophets operating at once. Several prophets living contemporaneously and prophesying at the same time as, as each other. So there's different times. This is a period where it is rare. God's revelation through his prophets, through his seers, is very rare at this time of 1 Samuel. And there's a widespread apostasy too. So you can sort of see those two things going together. When we're not following God's, God's ways, when we're not keeping his, his way of life or keeping his commandments, what happens? Revelation becomes skinny. It becomes very scarce. We can't find it very much because it shuts the mouth of the prophet. God chooses not to speak. So what else did we want to grab here? I like Samuel's attitude at verse 4. Let's look at it again. Okay, so the Lord called him. It said, the Lord called Samuel, and he answered, here I am. So he ran to Eli and said, here I am, for you called me. Now, Samuel's wrong. It wasn't Eli. It was God. God's calling him. But look at the attitude of this young man. You know, usually by the time that the day ends, you're kind of tired. You're kind of worn out. When you lay down, you don't just exactly feel like leaping up and running across the room. That's not the way it is, at least at the end of my days. But what do we see here with uh, this young Samuel? He thought that Eli had called him, and boom, he's up, and he, he runs to him. He wants to go immediately to him. He is an eager servant. There's a spirit that seems to be a little bit lacking among us today, isn't it? A, a spirit of service to the Lord God. We want to serve him and be and be right. That's the kind of spirit I want to have, ready to serve him, ready even to run to him and do what he wants. Here I am. Here I am. <laughs> oh, if we could only come to God with that spirit ourselves. So at this point, they don't really realize that God is speaking to Samuel, but that's going to change here as the night continues. Let's pause and pray and, and just leave it at that spot. Dear Father in heaven, help us to be your eager servants. Help us to want to serve you. Help us to be glad and ready and energetic in the service of your kingdom. Lord, we just want to be right. Revelation, you know, there's many people we know who claim to be prophets in this day, but it does seem to me that revelation, true revelation from you is very rare, even in our last days. Help us, Lord, to be true to what you have revealed from your prophets Help us to be true to the Bible, Lord, and the scriptures. We just ask you to help us with that simple prayer today, simple request. Thank you, Lord, for hearing. And please give us some of that energy, that youthful energy that Samuel has to immediately find what can be done in service. Thank you for hearing our prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. And there's our prayer and our desire today. May God be with you.